Hey family, all the details to book a personal reading are in the description box below, or you can scan here for ease of access. Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we're back with another pick a card reading. It's timeless. We've got some love themes. We're going to see what makes you attractive. We'll try to see what people are just saying about you overall and just an overall reputation check. This is a series. Um, I will add it to a playlist. You can see all of them for those of you that are interested. Um, and also, we're doing personal readings, right? We're, we're being better about that. You guys like those. Um, so I made it very easy for you to schedule, book, and get those without all of the hassle. Um, if you want more information on that, it is in the description box as well as um, the previous section right after um, you made your pile selection, okay? So we're going to roll with this reading for those of you that are visually impaired or if you simply like to choose based on me verbally describing the piles, let's do it now. Pile number one is the blue butterfly pea latte. It's like a to-go cup, so it's like this pile might really be on the go. Love to see it. Um, pile number two is the pink rose latte. Pile number three is the green matcha latte. It's a bit of a fuss around that one. It's going to be interesting. And then pile number four is the purple taro latte. I'll give you a moment to make your selection. And if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. All right, pile one, let's see what do people say about you? What makes you attractive and your overall reputation? Check. Okay, so for those of you that are new here, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson in the journey. Now, by nature of the question, we want to make you feel good. So we'll lean heavily into that lighter side um, and any shadow that steps in. If you need clarity, that would be your call to find other readings on the channel or book a personal reading right and that's not pressure that's just by nature of the question we don't want to lean too much into the shadow right and for the sake of time so tell me what do people say about this blue butterfly pea latte it is a to-go like it's like one of those to-go cups for sure so definitely feels really busy and on the move okay tell me about my power one hey look at you looking things seem to be turning around in the best way for you at least that's the conversation right um we're, we're leaning into what people are saying um i i try to see what is or isn't true where it makes sense but people just seem to see things turning around in the best way for you right we have um an incoming energy of the will of fortune which seems to be like a shift right it's kind of like when we talk about the pendulum swinging this is it swing swinging in your favor um that's that's kind of the conversations that are happening right now um they feel like you're very lucky like you're stepping into a very lucky period of time um very good things people are saying so let me let me get another one yeah you're looking really good people are seeing you like um if you've stepped into some recent success people are talking about it or they anticipate success from you right like they feel like things are working out really well like you're doing good you're looking good there's just a lot of things coming in that people are optimistic about for you okay like you look successful you look, and if you're not, you you look like you're pending success. So good for you. Love to see it. My power one. All right. Let me get my other card here. Yeah. Look at you closing a cycle for the best. The, the world is the last of the major arcana. It's kind of like when we close karmic cycles and we learn lessons and we grow and we evolve. Um, you've got two major arcana, two that are kind of faded destiny based ones. And the only minor arcana, which would be like your day to day energy, is this one of celebration, right? The six of wands is like a parade. It's people celebrating you. It's a popularity card. It's people are like, look how good that blue butterfly pea latte is. Look at them like it's just I don't know like there's nothing else it's very it feels it 
from a people talking perspective is very surface level. It's very vain, right? Like it's very materialistic and like stuff based, if that makes sense, like task based. I mentioned busy be moving around energy. So that could be kind of what it is, but it does seem like people seem to think like when we talk about like um, universal energy, like you seem to be a little more favored in this period of life. So look at you. I like to see this energy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we do have the devil, which is about control and keeping it together. People may be saying that about you, um, having it together, being more control, things like that. Um, especially when we talk about reputation. This is actually um, Capricorn based energy, which is the sign that rules the 10th house of your reputation. So yeah, I mean, people, people like are saying the best things and I'm trying to, I don't want to sit in the energy too long because I don't want these to be that long of piles today, but I don't feel excited. I don't know what's going on. Like, are you not excited or like, maybe you're not excited. I don't know what's going on, but it just feels like people are saying really great things. Um, things look like they, they, they seem to be at least trending in your favor. Things are very stable. Um, at least that's the conversations, but it just, it does, it feels blah. I don't know why. So let me pull. Okay. I did the thing where I moved the decks out of the order I wanted to use. So we'll use melanin pop at the bottom of your reset. You do have racks to riches, self-made, abundant, rich, full circle changes. Joy. Yeah. These are the conversations. Again, it feels very surface level. It doesn't feel like a lot of emotional attachment or things like that, which is not bad. You, you know what it means? You know what it is? It's probably a lot of people you don't know very well that are having these conversations. So it's the people that are talking about you are not people that you, I guess you care about the opinion because it doesn't feel like anything that you would be like excited about if that makes sense that's what that energy is it's too big it's too broad it's like um like network like people that like um like people that you went to like school with that you may not know maybe out of touch with kind of a thing um friends of friends friends of family members like it doesn't feel like people you you care about i, I don't want to say it like that but it's the truth so tell me more about my power one what are people saying about them what makes them attractive what's the overall reputation great reputation having it together getting it together that's the topic no give me one all right something about right on top being this way the whole time could have been this way the whole time that's a conversation like, because that's your card. And when we talk about closing a cycle and things changing, and this here right on top is like easy right in your face. So something is easy and right in your face here will we'll develop it. Let me see what this is closing that cycle. Yeah, time heals all wounds. This the sunflower. It says trust, synchronicities, healing, divine timing. Like right in the nick of time, um, right on time. What is this in your face? And, and those words could have done it the whole time. Yeah. Um, we've got shine, confidence, musician, spotlight, dance, communication. We've got vampire, energy, vampire, draining, lust, darkness, low vibration. These are polarizing energies. These are very, like, different, right? Like, I would kind of associate this to be, like, more Leo energy, more Scorpio energy. They're not opposite signs but just this is more like being seen personality going out more so maybe that shoe this is more of a draining kind of thing maybe that's that will of fortune that spiraled right we've got one here that's very like very draining right you know what let's let's do that let's do that for the sake of the visual some of you are very visual learners like you like slides powerpoints and things like that you like decks this is that draining vampire energy here at the bottom of the spiral here we have that loud bright performative energy um at the top let me just I've not gotten it like that before, so I, I want I want the visual to align. You see that? That's that contrast. So maybe you this this used to be you, and this is where you're going. Obviously, if we're talking about the shadow side of the pile, and you know that this performer based energy is you. Maybe you're falling into a bit of a lower draining. You know what I'm saying? Energy and like people are hoping you get over it and that you heal and things like that, like that it, that it, you, it ends, right? Because this is this is the contrast. This is the the light and shadow, literally light and shadow on the table, right? So um, 
the transit transformation from this draining low vibrational energy bringing people down things like that and being a little more outgoing and excited and like performing really well or going from this to that let me see what's at the bottom yeah, we got social media. You know, it makes sense. We got to, I choose them. Third party player, indecisiveness, disloyal. So there may be a disloyal thing. That may, that may be a conversation. But I mentioned the whole conversation about like, it, you don't seem to care about what the people, like the opinions, people that are thinking very highly of you are thinking you're doing better or that you're growing. You don't seem to care because it's probably people on social media. We have popularity, influencer, tech savvy. That's that performer card. That's also that six of wands. Okay. Those are the themes. I love that my light and shadow. This is the first time I ever had it on the table. That's why I'm just sitting here with it, even though I don't want to slow down too much. But light and shadow, okay, seems to be a huge theme here. Let me get these astrology based tarot decks. People are talking about you healing and improving and growing or hoping that you rise above something. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Tell me, pound number one, what people say, what's the reputation? There we go. We got two. All right, we've got balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces, real time. It is, um, this is our next full moon. If you're watching this with me, I think it's, um, it is, um, on the 19th. So I'm September, 2024, I think on the 19th, we have a full moon in Pisces. It is Virgo season, real time for me. Happy birthday to me and all the Virgos. <laughs> I like to throw that in from time to time, but this is an energy, um, that is coming up for those of you that, keep up with transits and want to know we have a new moon in cancer which could be a relevant time period um past present or incoming because it's still a timeless message regardless of when i film it's it's all about when you find the energy right um but balancing spirituality and practicality you and your loved ones are safe people are really seeing you ground this feels like a grounding of an energy you may have cancer virgo or pisces placements Capricorn is here as well. You could have any of those placements or those could be relevant seasons or relevant people on the table, okay? Um, people seem to think that you're doing really well. You're stabilizing, you're prioritizing your family, your loved ones. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon, just the beginning of something good, something really good, right? Um, and they seem to think that, again, that dedication, that, that growth, that commitment-based energy. So you seem to be doing well or have the mindset of doing well because this is your emotions and when we talk about Pisces energy that's more of your mental health and your spirituality and things like that it just feels like a someone that's having it together and it still feels empty and numb and I don't know what that is because it just doesn't feel like it matters maybe there's like certain people you're hoping to hear from that you're not or like that you're hoping are talking that haven't come through with you and your loved ones are safe here because it just doesn't seem like any of what I'm saying matters and I don't know that I've had a reading that I'm like recording where I can kind of feel the viewer like not really caring like it resonates it's true it's not lies but like this doesn't matter I mean this is just the loudest energy of people talking about you so um let me see give me one from here Okay, we got two. All right, my pile number one. Air sign energy, open mindedness, objectivity, and learning. That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, yeah, it talks about growth, talks about development, talks about learning and evolving and communicating effectively. Um, we've got the South Node destined to release. That's where you're comfortable. That's where you lean into your natural gifts and skill sets. So there you are. There you go. Um, some of you people may be saying that you're bored and that you're trying to grow and develop because you're bored, right? Like, because um, I get that, like that you're bored with what you're doing and how you're doing it because it's It don't make sense. So an, another perspective of the same thing I'm trying to say is like some of you people are hoping that you grow and evolve beyond where you're comfortable, right? The South Node, again, where you're born to be naturally gifted, naturally talented. You don't have to work very hard. You don't have to like it, it just happens naturally for you. Like like it's it's the things that you can't teach other people because you never like you didn't have to learn. You just woke up and were able to do it. Um, people are hoping that you grow and evolve beyond it. Um, 
like learning from the past, reflecting on the past, but like hoping that you ascend more towards your North Node, which is who you're meant to become, where you grow, where you develop, that's kind of the thing. And if you've been doing that, people are speaking very highly of you. If you've been limited in that, people are like, no, we gotta get past this. Like we have to be better than what we're used to doing, what we're comfortable doing, because if you wanna, as all of us, right? If we wanna be as great as we, we wanna be and accomplish the things we wanna accomplish in this life, we have to do things that are a little bit challenging. We have to nurture the sides of us that, you know, could actually support the areas where we're naturally gifted. So there we are, there we go. I've got earth sign energy here that is stars, Virgo and Capricorn. It says persistence, patience, and practicality. Again, you're grounded, you look good, you're stable. Um, you seem to be trending towards success or are seeing some success. Like that's just what it is. So let me pull this left deck. I'll get you advice and close it out because this pile is so blah. Like you, you seem to be doing good and I don't know why it's so blah. Like it just, it is blah. And I don't know why. Tell me in the comments why. Tell me. Deeper intimacy. The feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe, desired, and more connected to your partner. I mean, honestly, you kind of need this in all of your connections because this feels like a pile that not really caring about what people are saying and not like, because like, it doesn't seem to be people that matter. It doesn't seem to be people that are close to you. So you may crave deeper intimacy, which is people overall, right? That, that could be what people are just saying in general, like they want to be closer to you, not necessarily in a romantic sense, but just we talk about friendships and just being a little more engaging with the people in your surroundings. That's a thing, okay? But if you have a partner, they, they see you getting closer with your partner and that makes people feel good. Um, if you don't have a partner, people are hoping you find somebody because you seem like really locked in the best ways, but like, alone and isolated and like isolated doesn't mean that you're not around people it just means that you're not as engaged with the people if that makes sense like you got a lot it's, it's kind of like you, you have all of these people around you but you don't really you're not really close to any of them that's weird um this harmony yeah letter d could be relevant there seems to be some disconnect what's that yeah, some communication-based energy, but um, use this time to address any issues to restore harmony in this relationship. Definitely, um, people want to be closer to you, whether we're talking about a romantic partner that you have, someone that is interested in you romantically, or just the people around you wanting to be a little closer. Because something about it, there's this disconnect when it comes to getting close to you that people are discussing. Like, you're not very easy to get close to, and that's a limitation, okay? That's a little bit of that shadow stepping out okay so let me get your advice and i'll close you out because i don't know this pile just is not really engaged it's like yeah it's a reading it's a good reading but like i don't really care you need to find something you're passionate about if that's your default setting like if you're if this is how you feel i feel bad because like i don't like this is not my default setting like if i'm centered in 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 in, in like I still feel stuff, right? Like it, like I can center, I can ground, I can be in meditation, but something about this just doesn't feel like anything really stimulates you in any way. And life is all about like enjoying things. I mean, yeah, you, sometimes you have lows, but you should definitely be able to enjoy the highs which people seem to think you're either experiencing or trending towards. What's your advice? Patience. Okay, so be patient. You have patience here. Maybe that's what it is. You, you, you have an impatient energy about you, right? And you're not like, it feels like a personality that never seems to really enjoy a success. It's like, yeah, I reached this goal. Okay, time to, to reach the next one because it's like, you gotta, this is a celebratory energy. Six of Wands is your first card. It talks about celebrating your wins, celebrating your victories. And people are saying that and people are trying to do that. Okay, like be patient with yourself in each milestone. Just kind of celebrate it and enjoy it, if that makes sense. Um, we have nature. Go outside. Enjoy life. Be in the moment. Experience deeper intimacy with the world around you overall. Okay, that's what you need to do. Because people think very highly of you, but you seem very detached from people's perspectives, even when they're speaking highly of you, because you just don't seem to be caring. You don't seem to be engaged. You don't seem very easy to get close to, okay? Okay. So that is all I have for you today. My pile number one. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like.
comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile two, let's see what do people say about you and what makes you attractive? Just an overall reputation check for my pink rose latte. So for those of you that are new, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself and the lesson and the journey. Now, by nature of the question, we lean into the lighter side. If the shadow steps through and you get confused for this reading specifically, you need to go on the channel, explore, find other readings to see if you can find clarity or book a personal reading because we want to be more efficient with our time here and also we don't want to like this is to make people feel good right so let me see my pink rose latte what are people saying about you that doesn't say mean we won't mention shadows it just means we're not gonna like <laughs> we're not gonna like I, I can't even get the phrase that i, I can't even find the phrase that i want to use to describe the shadow in a sense we're not gonna beat you down with it right so Tell me what people are saying about my pink rose latte. What makes them attractive? Hey, look at you, Nova the Universe. Capable of anything. Capable of so much more. Those are the words. So people are uh, people think that you just have a special gift. I don't know what that gift is. It's going to be different for all of you. But when we talk about creation and just manifesting and just doing things that just come naturally to us, that's you. Um, and it makes you very attractive. People think very highly of you. Like when we, when we talk about people that other people perceive as being better than them and everyone around them, you fall into that category. This is a very unique card, very specific to this version of this deck. Um, and, and, and again, Nova, she is the universal life force, right? Creating all that goes in the cup of the universe. So look at you being great at everything. Let me pull more. Tell me more about how to. What are people saying about my pink rose latte? That makes them attractive. Look at that emperor. Wow. Great energy. Two major arcana already. Um, this is Aries initiating energy. Really? Like, so this is like the ultimate creation, ultimate manifesto, ultimate power. Like people see you as just power. That's the one word. Strong and power. That's that's kind of what people are saying about you. That's what people find attractive about you. And like you have the best reputation. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know what else to see. Um, that disengaged energy that I came through from Pi One is back. Yeah, we've got um, the Chariot, which is another major arcana. Ruled by a sign of Cancer. Two, initiating creative energy. So just creative strong powerful can manifest anything um beginning of seasons are very relevant like spring summer fall winter like that's a thing and that's when people really start talking about you most or did or will remember past present and coming that's a thing okay and then um we have that three of cups which talks about um like friendship and like gatherings and enjoying people's company um, people want to be your friend. Like you're that person. Everyone thinks you're great at everything and they want to be friends with you. That's, that's it. Like people find you really attractive, um, really powerful, really strong, um, really good at things and they want to be close to you. That's what we got. So let me pull up from Melanin Pop and I will see more something about the readings today they're so quiet in a way that i'm not used to people do find you really physically attractive though like something about your energy your presence and your look just feels very very strong very active okay very prominent and pronounced okay like you stand out from other people we have secret admirer look at you go to the secret admirer readings you got a lot of those at least three um crush stranger love daydreaming surprises okay some people are very surprised by you okay some of you would be very surprised by some of the people that are like finding you attractive and the things that they're saying in the best way so look at that some of you this is confirmation to a lot of people that you may or may not know 
feels familiar. Okay, if you want the previous pile, go for it. That's okay. But I'm going to try to peel more very specific to this pink rose latte. What are people saying about my pink rose latte, please? Revenge. Ooh. This is my glow up pile. Look at you. We got a uh, newness, revenge body, luxury, reaching goals, sudden success. So people are talking about any sudden success with Nobody Universe, the Emperor and a Chariot. It feels like something worth like celebrating and, and success, right? Like it, it feels like a shocking glow up. Okay. That's what people are talking about. Looking good, feeling good, being great. Um, there's some type of success that people didn't or won't see coming that that is definitely going to be a very loud topic when we talk about strangers, something so loud that people you don't know would even be talking about it, right? That's what I'm getting. Like universe is like universal energy in the most Aquarius way when we talk about like people, like extended networks of people, like being a topic with extended networks of people. Tell me more about this pink rose latte and the reputation they have. What are people saying and what makes them attractive, please? What makes them attractive? Okay, I take this in the bottom. We've got mountains, elevation, peak, climbing, transcendence. Ooh, this is like white hot energy. The first card you've got is like Nova the Universe. You've got secret admirers. You've got a revenge glow up and we've got a peak. Right. When when someone something peaks, it's like the peak of the mountaintop. Like that's a thing. And it's worth like being happy and, and, and celebrating. We have long distance here. Distance, travel, time apart. I mentioned that white hot, like expansive energy when we talk about Nova the Universe. Right. And I mentioned like that secret admirer of like strangers. Okay. I have like this this feels like broad. Like it feels almost like social media base in some sense. Or just traveling. So, for example, like if you have a career where there's like multiple locations or whatever, people at the different locations would be like, like, I don't know, like you get team member of the month. They're like, oh, look, this person at that whatever got this thing. That's kind of a more mundane example of that. That's the most mundane example of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that. Like a lot of people in different places talking about you like, oh, look at that pink rose latte, how great they are, how good they are at everything. Like, I want to be like them. I want to be friends with them. I want advice from them. And that's the thing. Okay. Like this is a pile of being so quiet that it's loud. If that makes sense. I don't know. Something is, the readings are different today. I'm not, it's a different vibe. Like I'm reading the table. The channeling isn't as loud. Like, I don't know what's going on with this particular reading, but we're not going to overreact to it tell me more nothing will come of the situation void of course moon people seem to like that you don't overreact to attention to success okay like when you're doing good people are like that's great um they're like pile two doesn't really get too high they don't get too low they, they see the success they take the success and they just kind of like it just is, it's normal for them. Like things that we consider to be really great and exceptional, it's just regular every day for them. Okay, we've got show the world the real you. I mentioned Aquarius, right? Um, full moon Aquarius, it happens during Leo season. So it could be past, present, and coming for you. But um, I mentioned that expansive network-based energy. This feels like extended networks. Okay. Long distance. Let me get this one. You're glowing up, you're doing good, you're looking really good, you're seeing success, you're really powerful, you're creating things. Everybody wants to be your friend. What do people say? I'm definitely gonna add the playlist. I have other readings that are more detailed in this same series, and it just I don't know. Today it's like everybody thinks you're great, and that's it. And that's all you need to know. How many is that? Okay, that's three. Incoming energy of the North Node. You're ascending towards your North Node. That's what people are saying. They speak very highly of you in that regard. They think you're really doing the best you can in terms of developing in areas that may be a little difficult for you. Um, we got Pluto. We we'll talk about transforming and that Yang. Hey, Emperor and Nova, that Yang energy. It says proactivity, expression, doing, and forward motion. Really changing and applying effort where you need to, where you need to. Like people really admire your ability to change and evolve and grow. Okay. That's the hugest thing. 
Okay, we've got conjunction, a union merging and coming together. We did have at the bottom here, I think it was one of those Libra cards which talks about connection. So when it talks about partnering and relationships, people think, speak very highly of you and that. You have a lot of secret admirers that would want to be interested in you on a romantic level. Like people see you as like an ideal partner, especially with where you're trending to go. Okay, tell me more. You got friends and family here. The support of family and friends may strengthen this connection. Tell me from a romantic perspective, what are people saying about my pal too? What makes them attractive to best part if life were a movie being with each other would be the best part you both bring out the better parts of each other people speaking very highly of you and your partner and the relationship you have if you have one they're like that's so good for pal two um the whole movie element like maybe your relationship is kind of like movie-esque like a dream like you know the most amazing thing people talk about that um but people also think that like if you're single or even if you're not, like you would be the best part of a union, like you would be the ultimate catch. We have higher self, no matter how dark or muddy your path may be, trust the guidance of your higher self. People see you as very inspiring, very elevated, right? Very in tune with higher source, right? Very like, like whether you're spiritual or religious or neither, just something about you, you seem very tapped in, in a way that kind of the way you move and maneuver life, you can just tell that you're level-headed, if that makes sense. We have listen and reflect. Sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. You seem like the type of um, partner that would be very, very attentive, okay? Like very attentive, easy to get along with, easy to connect with, okay? That's what people say. And they find that attractive. It feels like the strong, silent type and willing to compromise not in a self-depreciating way but in a okay let's make it work for both of us that's kind of a thing okay i'm okay well we got time i'll pull one more um since i almost grabbed that deck and i'll get your advice because i don't know the tiles are different today we've got new love a new person has stirred romantic feelings um if you have a new partner people are excited about that some people think you need a new partner, especially if you have like a repeated cycle. We have an incoming past life relationship. People are talking about that. Um, and then we have reconciliation. Yeah, same thing. So people, um, if you're back with someone that you previously were with or are connecting with someone um, just from your past in general, people are talking about that past life relationship and the reconciliation factor. Okay. That's a conversation. All right, let me get this advice from my pal number two. What does pal two need to know, do whatever regarding what people say about them and what makes them attractive? Give me the pal two's advice regarding the reputation, please. Some of you people are hoping recon you reconcile with someone specific, okay? That's not what I want to do. Okay. My pile number two, please. There we go. Abundance. So, I mean, just be abundant. Like, embrace abundance. Allow yourself to embrace abundance. Okay? Um and be willing to learn being willing to learn and grow and ascend towards your north node will lead to abundance we got share your gifts there so learning will lead to abundance okay so that is all i have for you today my pile number two hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching all right, pile number three, my green matcha latte. Let's see what people say about you, what makes you attractive, and an overall reputation check. So for those of you that are new, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. 
I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey, okay? We're leaning into the lighter side just by nature of the question. So if the shadow comes out, we'll mention it and things like that. But if you really want clarity on that, then you're going to have to book a personal reading. I'm not really plugging it like that. I just want you to know, like, if you really need that clarity, that's the only way you're going to get it in this type of reading, okay? <clears throat> Someone has a raspy voice. If that's you, people like it, okay? People really like it. Like, you got a little scratch to your voice naturally. People like that. They find that really attractive. I feel like this is going to be my most engaged pile, so I'm excited because the first two weren't bad by any means. They were great piles, but the energy was just so blah. It wasn't really engaged. So, hopefully, you're different. Let me see. Let me see. Cause I'm excited about, yeah, like you're, you're the pile that like everybody wants to date you. Everybody was like fighting for your attention and your affection. Yeah, for sure. Just based on those glimpses. Especially if you're one of those single people that kind of like, you feel like a little unattainable. Okay. All right. Like I heard... People are on high alert when it comes to my green matcha latte. Look at that. Look at, look at you, how self-sufficient and independent you are. That's that nine of pentacles. Talks about someone that's really doing well on their own. Um, they're very satisfied with their life. They're very grounded, very stable. They don't need other people. And the opinion of other people don't really like, the opinions of others doesn't really move them because they're very stable and confident in themselves. If that makes sense, that's what people think of when they, what, like, that's what people think of you. And that's kind of what they say, like, pile three is very self-sufficient, okay? They like it. Um, it feels very independent. It feels very single, okay? If that's not you, that's still a perception in some way. So tell me more about my pile three. I got the son of swords, okay? There's someone specific that wants to talk to you. So I, I know that that's like, like people are talking, like there's a, there's a conversation about a very specific person that wants to talk to you. Knight of Swords is someone with like a lot to say that just really want, that likes to communicate and wants to communicate. Okay. So I don't know why these want to call me, but they're calling me. Maybe someone wants to call you. Maybe someone's debating on whether or not they're going to call you. That's a conversation someone's having. Okay, go to the meet the reading, the last reading I did, the who wants to talk to you. Okay, um, oh, yeah, somebody like really interested in you. Okay, we've got two knights, knight of swords, knight of wands, and we've got that ten of pentacles. Like, there's a conversation which is interesting because I'm like, this is my one pile where I got like specific people, like smaller groups of people versus like everybody. There's a conversation where there's at least like one person that's like, yeah, that green matcha latte is very strong, very independent, like to themselves and they're happy like that. But I want to find a way to where they're in the 10 of pentacles with me. Like I want to take them from the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles where, yeah, they can still be all like independent and like self-sufficient, but like where we tie that into like a family with me. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Like, that's the conversation. And some of you, there's people having that conversation with each other about you and, like, trying to find you a suitor or, like, regarding specific suitors. So, like, for example, like, um, I don't know why I got a random church vibe. So if you go to church or any religious home, it's a lot of here, you here with your variety of religions. Like, there's, like, a few people that are like, you know what? That green matcha latte, you know, that this person likes that green matcha latte. Maybe we get the green matcha latte to engage. Maybe we might get, you know, a little setup action going. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm getting, okay? We got the moon, especially when we talk about maternal figures. That's a thing, all right? We got the moon um, ruled by Pisces and or Cancer, depending on how you see it. But that is kind of fourth house, home, family, culture, ancestry-based energy. It's emotional fulfillment. Um, people are talking about you being emotional, emotionally fulfilled, whether you are or aren't. 
um, there's a conversation that you would be happier in this Ten of Pentacles versus this Nine of Pentacles. That's the topic, okay? So let me... Ooh, people are so nosy. The people around you are so nosy. You have, you are my world. That's that person. Um, there's definitely someone, at least one, maybe two different people I see on the table that are really interested in you. And that's a topic. Okay. But there seemed to be a theme of like relationships. And either a lack thereof or like a hoping... You pick one. <laughs> I don't know why. That's funny. Tell me more about this green matcha latte. What are people saying about this green matcha latte? What makes them attractive? Okay. Okay. You've got a forest. Unknown darkness, unconscious mind. We got a student. So force in reverse, it's actually, I'm not going to call it any of that because the force upright is kind of like hidden things that are hiding. Um, in reverse, it feels like in plain sight. So people say something is in plain sight regarding you. You may be in plain sight. We have student learning classes, college observant listening study. Someone is studying you right in plain sight. Oh, look at that little message. Someone studying you in plain sight. Right, someone being interested, someone observing you in plain sight. Like so, you may be with the moon and this unconscious mind. Like something may be going over your head with someone that's interested in you in whatever like culture, community-based settings we're talking about. Because it just feels like someone like watching you and observing you in plain sight. Okay, like it's very obvious to other people. Okay, we've got just friends. Um, people may be thinking that you've friend zoned this person if you have, or even if you haven't. That's the perception. Okay, let me get one more. I'll take the bottom one. Maybe I'll take two more to even out the table. Tell me more about what people are saying about my pile number three. What makes them attractive? Rebound. Short-term relationships, fast breakups, grievances. So any type of breakup or disillusion or um, something quick, people are talking about that. This feels like a lot of people just gossiping about like their personal business. This doesn't feel like what people are talking about you specifically and finding you attractive. It just feels like people are talking about your personal business. We've got I want you back. Regrets, missing you, sadness, sleep, besides. So at least one of these people on the table is someone that like, okay, all right. People are talking about someone that missed out why is that so blurry? Yes, it's like you may not realize this is happening <laughs> with the moon, but like it feels like um, there's someone that's very openly in regret regarding you. Okay, like people are talking about it. like I don't know how people know or maybe like I don't know what the I don't know the specifics. This isn't a personal reading. Okay, um, there's a person that's just like I don't know if it's someone that rebounded or maybe you rebounded, but there's like a missing you, I want you back vibe on the table when it comes to my green matcha latte. So I don't know what that's all about, but we do have red flags. Look at you bringing all the shadow to my table. Why is it so blurry? Caution, beware, toxic warning, Sager. Yeah, leave that alone. I mean, people are saying like you should leave that alone for sure. Like whoever that is with the regret and the rebound energy. People are saying like, oh, like that person had their chance or whatever. Like it was bad. Like whatever negative situation, people are talking about it. And like, oh, that was a red flag. Okay. And there's a regretful energy surrounding it. So you know what I'm talking about because it's your personal business. Like there's no way you don't know what I'm talking about or who. So let me pull from these struggle stacks. Okay, my pal number three. What are people saying? Um, a personal issue reaches resolution. So something like, I don't know, maybe you got away from something or someone. And that's a good thing. Because this, this pile is actually more, it's the loudest of the three so far. But it's all over the place. It's like people are just talking about all kinds of random things when it comes to you. Like whatever they can talk about when it comes to you, they just do. 
It's very gossip energy. People seem to think you're doing really well with prosperity lies ahead. But notice there's like a lack of clarity on the table. Okay. And there is that um, adjustments. Don't let your past hold you back. Like it feels like someone that moved forward and just never looked back. That's what I'm getting for you. And people may be saying that you did that or that's what you need to do. Green matcha latte. What are people saying about my green matcha latte, please? What makes them attractive? What's their overall reputation? I'll take those two in the bottom. Expect powerful change. Step out of your comfort zone. New moon eclipse in the north. No, purple is a relevant color. Okay. So something you did, you made a huge shift. Okay. I'm like trying to like make it less blurry because I don't know why it's doing that. Um, Like something you did or something people think you did, regardless of if it's true. These are people's perspectives. Like it was something you weren't used to doing. It's something you maybe you didn't even want to do, were, were afraid to do it. And it seems to be a huge conversation. Um, we have conclusions all within reach. So the that moon, that lunar cycle, right? That that eclipse cycle, definitely relevant. You got new moon eclipse, full moon eclipse. So we had an eclipse at the beginning of the year, and we have another one coming up. So that cycle will be relevant in whatever the timeline and the situation we're talking about. But expect powerful change, step out of your comfort zone, conclusions are within reach. That's the topic. Like it's almost something's almost over. And things are going to be really changing in the best way, right? For you and where you're supposed to be going and who you're meant to become. I don't know. I can't help y'all with the table. I don't know why it's so blurry. Um, it came out of nowhere. I think it is going to rain later. Maybe that's what it is. I am next to a window, y'all. But things aren't really clear. And maybe things aren't clear with you. But, like, that's the topic. And I feel like this power is all over the place. We've got passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. House five is ruled by sign of Leo. Um, and the solar energy, it just, but it is joy, pleasure. It's friends, friendship. It's fun. It's all of the things we do for enjoyment and entertainment. Okay. Two, physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. This is the house of your money. So house of joy, house of pleasure, house of entertainment, house of money, and house of um, assets. Okay, so that's what people are talking about. It just feels like all of your personal business. Okay, let me pull this love deck and I'll give you advice. It just, what do people find attractive about you? They like that you're self-sufficient. Okay. Some of you are really private. They like that. People like that you... Um, have people that are wanting you on a romantic level. Um, you seem stable. You seem fun. You seem like you're ascending towards who you want to be in this life. But it just feels like the conversations about you are like deeply personal. Like your personal business. Like when we talk about gossip, this is gossip. Like this isn't people just like, oh, it's so good about Pow 3 and whatever they're doing. Like this is people talking about very specific situations, very specific circumstances, very specific people in your life, if that makes sense. So tell me when it comes to love, what are people saying? Oh, okay. Incoming energy of butterflies. Okay, enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of old or new love. Someone gives you butterflies or you give someone butterflies and that's an exciting thing. This is crush energy. So people may be talking about you with like a crush or something like that. Especially when we talk about younger energy because we have student and two nights, okay? And we've got explore. Take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts so um people are talking about you and some type of new love that is around or possibly incoming um people talk about you exploring and they think it's exciting that you explore like new connections with people of all kinds yeah but it just feels like your personal business and obviously with this being a general reading 
all of you are living very unique, very specific circumstances that I'm not going to be able to touch, right? Give me my advice for my pile number three regarding what makes them attractive. My advice for my pile number three regarding what makes them attractive. Growth. Grow towards your north node, right? Go towards your north node. And and live with an energy of gratitude, okay? So grow and be grateful for the life you have, for the blessings you have, for the opportunities that you have, okay? So that is all I have for you today, my pile number three. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile four, my purple taro latte. Let's see what people say about you and what makes you attractive. We're going to tap in and see your overall reputation, all right? So for those of you that are new, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson and the journey. Now, by nature of the question, we're leaning heavily into the lighter side. I mention it where it makes sense, but I will not delve deeper, which is why I've encouraged those of you that want me to go deeper there to look back at previous readings or different types of readings on the channel. Or if you really want the specifics for you, you're going to have to book a personal reading. OK, so let me get into it. I'm excited to see what's going on with this one, because um, I think it's been a while since I've done one, I don't know. Or maybe the color is just so vibrant that I'm like overreacting and thinking that I haven't seen it in a while. So tell me about my pile four. What are people saying about pile four? What makes them attractive? What's the reputation? Um, you know, you're feeling very independent. We're going to put it back. If you're coming from the green matcha latte, good for you. Um, especially if you're the type that's very independent, but also very, very private and to yourself, people are just naturally inquisitive about you, naturally inquisitive about you. Okay. There we go. All right. Incoming energy of lots of options. People kind of make up things. What are people saying about you? So a lot of it is gossip. Some of it's rumors. Some of it's made up. Not true. Could be good. Could be bad. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see, but it's just a lot of conversations that people are just talking about you a lot. Like they just, because you're so private into yourself, they just a, a lot to the imagination, right? Um, and then we also have an energy of um, just options, opportunities. So people are discussing your options and your opportunities um, that you have available. So let me let me get to it and see what else this, this is. This too. Yeah, when we talk about moving on, when we talk about chasing things and, and, and seek, chasing what you desire that's the topic okay that's the topic definitely feels like someone people don't necessarily see with the back turned definitely feels like someone that may be prioritizing other things from the people that are talking about them if that makes sense it, it feels like a difference in priorities so we have hanged man okay it's pisces told house energies of hidden things and secrecy okay it's it's private private gets um, this is actually a very private card. It talks about going on a journey of ascension and finding oneself. That's why she's out in the desert. Okay. You, people are saying you're chasing opportunities. You're looking to grow and move beyond something, but they're not necessarily sure how you're going to go about that or what the actual, I heard the word goal is, if that makes sense. Tell me more. Um, you got the powerful man when we split. So people do see you as very capable of things. So tell me more about my power four. What do people say about my power four and what makes them very attractive? What's the overall reputation, please? The, the reputation feels neutral for this pile so far. It just feels like someone with a lot of options and people just talking for the sake of talking, if that makes sense. Tell me about this purple tarot latte, please. What are people saying? Yeah, to yourself, for sure. We got Virgin, which also could talk about a fresh start. It says purity, innocence, angelic, bright, abstinence, and celibacy. People think like you're perfect. And when I say perfect, that I don't mean like in a dramatic sense. I mean in a like people think that you're overall just a good person. So you're like, you know how there's those groups of people are like, oh, I think so highly of this person. Here, yeah, people think highly of you, but they just think that you're overall good person, right? Like they, they think you're a kind um gentle 
nice person, like the type of person that always does the right thing. That's your reputation, okay? So let me get another two in the bottom. And pile number four. Can, like, I, it does feel a little bit like can do no wrong, okay? Tell me my pile four. Also feels like something you may be abstaining from. That abstinence is standing out. It doesn't have to be sensual in nature. Could truly just be like just something you're abstaining from, okay? Um, we have vintage, chivalrous states, courtship photos. Um, if you have photos that have been visible in any way, people have been um, observing you, admiring you, thinking you look really sweet, really innocent. Um, they're talking about how you have like an old school vibe, um, very mature vibe. Um, like something about the overall aura feels very um, traditional. Virgin and old school feels traditional, okay? Um, in your approach to people and specifically when we talk about love and romance, okay? Um, this combination feels like someone that people see as like a very traditional and ideal partner on a romantic level. So that's kind of where we are with that. Like you, your look feels like... You know how people like talk about like those like those decades like that that phrase right now that's out like that nineties fine like there's that's a that's kind of a thing like you have a certain appeal to you that doesn't look like it's from the decade we're in and that's a compliment okay so tell me my power four please what are people saying about them and what makes them attractive please. Okay, why is communication in reverse? Unwanted messages or contact making the first move. That could be a thing. Someone may want to make a first move, but they're not sure if you want to talk to them. There's someone that's not, not communicating with you because they're afraid that you don't want to talk to them. There's a lot of pink here. That may be a relevant color. Um, or maybe you're coming from how to. Um, we've got body, fitness, cosmetic surgery, body modification. Um, people think you are really attractive, Okay. Um, there's a lot of people that think you're, you, you're out of their league. It's people that, um, want to engage you that are afraid to engage you because they think that you just wouldn't be interested in them. Okay. Whether we're talking about love, friendship, whether we're talking about just those opportunities there. Cause we do have someone here with a lot of options in a variety of areas of life. Like there's a lot of offers or opportunities you're not getting because people don't think you'd be interested. Okay. So what is that? Let me pull more. That's the conversations that are happening. Okay. So tell me more about what people are saying about my pal four. What makes them attractive, please? This feels like people don't think you want to be bothered. Like you feel like the type of person that just genuinely just does not want to be bothered. Okay. That's what people are saying. They're like, yeah, no, pal four just does not want to be bothered. So if that's not true, okay, that card came out a lot today. What's at the bottom? Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Yeah, so look at you. People are saying you got prosperity coming in. Um, your family, you and your, it's, you and your loved ones are safe. Like that's a maturing energy. Like you and your family are good. They've been good. They're going to be good. Um, and prosperity is coming in even more so for you, okay? That's a conversation. Pay emphasis on that not wanting to be bothered, okay? Just watch that. Um, again, when it comes to people that you genuinely don't want to be bothered by or if you don't mean to be coming across that way because you're coming across as someone that just does not want to be bothered, okay? All right. Capricorn. That's my hard working sign. Look at you. Ambition, realism, methodical steps. So people say you work very hard. You're very grounded, very stable, um, Capricorns can be a little harsh, a little dry. Okay, so that may be what people say, a little serious, right? Especially when we talk about Mercury-based energy. Think, learn, network, and com communicate. Um, Capricorn right here with Mercury, which Gemini Virgo energy feels like someone that takes themselves very seriously, a little too seriously. It's stale energy, okay? So people say that, like work very hard, um, very analytical, um, 
take themselves way too seriously, okay? So let me pull from this love face deck. Especially when we talk about that traditional sense, like this is a dry, like some of you, <laughs> I'm not going to like delve deep into that. Some of you people are hoping that you get like a romantic partner if you don't have one or that you start spending more time with your romantic partner. Because this feels like someone that's just like taking themselves so seriously that they're not even engaging romance, if that makes sense. So let me pull, what are people saying about you? How? Four. very serious pile like very very serious so you look good you sound good people like the way you move people like how hard you work but it just it it feels disengaged and disinterested right like there's make a move let me grab these other ones like there's a lot of conversations about like when we talk about love so um people are saying um they want to make a move and may not because you're disinterested people are saying they hope you make a move like it just depends on the topic and things cleared up great when this deck came out right the time is now someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move that's what it says that is what it says so what is this safe place there's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love people think you'd be really good with whoever you're dating or engaging or whoever people think you should be engaging we have forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. If you have any bitterness, you people are hoping you let that go um, and that you ground. We have best part. If life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. All right. That's kind of the energy. So people are speaking very highly of you in terms of the quality of partner you'd be. Very stable, um, very safe um very forgiving very loving but um that forgiving heal feels like something people think you may need to do because there's a certain coldness to the table when it comes to how people see you okay so let me get your advice this was not a shadow pile people think you're great they just think that um you're you're disinterested so if it, it, like people like you but they don't think you like them that's that's the pile right like people are like yeah five four is great i really like that purple tarot latte but i don't think that they like me <laughs> that's the pile okay so what advice do we have for my pile for spiritual knowledge okay well trust your guidance trust your instincts trust your intuition and allow it to place you where you need to go right like don't overreact and over and overanalyze okay be peace move in a way that's going to lead to peace allow yourself to experience peace because this is a pile um the way people see you and if there's any truth to it it feels like someone that lives on edge like constantly worried about making mistakes constantly worried about like their routine like overreacting to people being a little bit off-putting just because you're yeah to the point being a little bit off-putting because you're like so afraid of rejection like that's the pile okay so use your spiritual knowledge trust your intuition and be peace okay so that is all i have for you today my pile number four hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching